Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. In this video, I'm going to be talking about something that's not here. That's kind of hard to do many times. And many of you have already seen it. It's the new Apple Watch Ultra with some dive capabilities. There's been a lot of discussion. I've jumped on and I've seen some of the other videos on YouTube and Facebook and things along those lines. Many of you see I'm, I'm kind of a, a dive watch guy and I always have been. But I do like the convenience of what the Apple Watch brings me. If, does it help me keep track of the weather? Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, does it help me keep track of my daily activities? Personally, I don't use it to that extent. Is it fully capable of that? It's, a, it's amazing what it's capable of. On the same vein, I grew up and came along in the, in the diving industry when we barely had pressure gauges until today we see what we've got now and I brought these out here and just left this little hole in the middle to kind of communicate and do a little discussion about this this new device that's that's going to be out there I looked and I thought well maybe I'll jump on the bandwagon and do a video about the Apple Watch Ultra and try to score a whole bunch of views but after talking with a few people again over the past few days I've kind of been mentally as I'm driving forth back and forth to work mentally comparing it to what we're looking at here and basically what I've, I've got I've got some of the Garmin products here this is a belongs to one of the guys George this is a, a Mark II I which is an air integrated unit and it has uh, smart watch capabilities, but it really is centric around diving and also activities uh, with a little bit of smart watch abilities in connection with the phone. Here, uh, this is Garmin's new Mark uh, 2S. This is the smaller version of the Mark 2i. And of course, it's not air integratable. And then there's also their new G1 series, their G1 Standard and G1 Solar. And those are very smartwatch capable, but again, they are activity centric more than they are smartwatch. And I'm not trying to belittle anybody's watches or whatever it happens to be. I'm, I'm just kind of sat down and thought through some of this. Some of you may agree with what I'm saying, and some of you may not agree with, and, and that's okay. Over here, I've got the Atmos. Um, this is the M2, and this is the M1 box below it. I actually have an M1. I got the first one that came into the United States, and it's been a wonderful dive computer for me. And They've added a few possibilities and, and capabilities to the M1, uh, like walking and some other things, but it's mainly a non-air integrated, uh, affordable color uh, dive computer in essence. The M2 is a bit more Garmin-like. I think that's a, a fine thing they've decided to add in bicycling and skiing and some other uh, pretty neat things in, in, in the M2 uh, up, over and above the M1. And uh, of course, I've got here my, my uh, Shearwater Tarek, which for me is probably one of the easiest dive computers out there on the market to, to see. Uh, I think there's different levels of visibility on all of these. When we look at the, the new Apple Watch Ultra, I, I really wanted to replace my iWatch 5. Uh, I've had to already glue down the, the screen on it one time, and I enjoy it, but for me, there's nothing like a dive watch. It's just the way it is, and of course, 
as an instructor trainer, I tell everybody to wear their wrist computers on their right wrist so that it's visible when you're swimming and in the ascent position that a lot of people get lazy about. I wanted to get one of these, and actually I, I was just going to get the, the iWatch 8, uh, and then as I was listening to the introduction, they started talking about the Ultra. Now, I'm not going to go run in the desert, and I'm not going to do a lot of things that it's capable of, but I do like the titanium. I do like the hidden, uh, looks like it's going to be slightly recessed screen, the fact that it's titanium, blah, 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 and some of the other features is very interesting to me, but as I look deeper, deeper dive computers and that app is a paid app so when i look at this one connects to your phone does a lot of things the app it connects with is free this app is free the garmin app are free you have to really think about where your desired activities are where you want them to be what you're doing if you're just dive centric, stick with just the dive computer. So when you are talking along these lines and you're looking at the capabilities, is it just strictly, like I said before, dive centric? Is it dive centric with a little bit of activity and a little bit of smartphone, smart watch capabilities? Is it dive centric and activity centric and air integrated and a number of other capabilities like what we're seeing with what the Garmin is. I actually shot a video, but I hesitated putting it up because I wanted to be able to talk a bit more logically about what's coming out because a lot of people yesterday and, and such, the YouTube channels were blowing up with all the info on it. Uh, some of the other scuba channels have them. And just look around, you'll see it. You know, I've, I've got one of the ultras coming on the 23rd. The main, again, the main reason is because I want to replace my, my version 5. It will be nice to, to be able to jump in the pool and do a refresher per se, um, uh, and have it on and not have to worry about the waterproof. And I did notice the waterproofing, uh, a water resistance, it says 100 meters, but it's got a big asterisk. And when you look down there, it says, hey, stay above 40 meters, 120, 130 feet, stay above that. But I'm, I'm excited to get it and, and see how it fits, and I'm sure that's why I left a slot right here. I'm sure it will have a place. I'd be interested to hear your comments down below. Uh, pro, con, negative, neutral, whatever you may happen to be. I always enjoy that. And if you like this video, of course, I'd really appreciate it if, if you gave me a thumbs up, gave me a like on it. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Again, I'm Bob Collins for Diver Supply. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks a lot.